You want to listen to me talk about free kicks in American football for 10 minutes? Now, one of my obsessions is football. I love all codes of football, but it is the NFL season, and so I've been paying attention to American football. I like the kind of obscure things that can happen in football, and uh, one of my favorites is the fair catch free kick. This is something that doesn't happen very often. Most people are not aware it's a thing, but when it happens, I like to watch the videos if anyone has one. People don't know what to do. Most of the players don't know what's going on. Sometimes the kicker doesn't know what's going on. Um, when a coach calls for this to happen, usually the other coach doesn't know what's going on. So it usually turns into a chaotic mess, but I love it. The city of my birth is the latest to have one of these happen. The Central York Panthers. The uh, kid's name is Matthew Parker. He's a kicker, and he made a 54-yard free kick, and for about a day or so was assumed to be one of the longest, if not the longest, fair catch free kick field goal made, although apparently a 60-yard had been kicked uh, in a high school in Kentucky at some point. So this thing is obscure. It dates back to before the NFL, before the forward pass, before helmets of any kind. Um, The fair catch free kick comes from an era of football when touchdowns gave no points and the only thing that you needed to do was kick goals. A free kick allowed you to take a shot at goal without anyone on the defense being able to rush you. It looks just like a kickoff or the kick after a safety. And those are two other types of free kicks. So the fair catch free kick is available to uh, teams at the high school and the NFL level. College got rid of it in 1951. And there's always a lot of misinformation and a lot of confusion about how this happens, what needs to happen, Is it weird? Should it be banned? Why is it still a thing? So first thing, should it be banned? I don't know. The NCAA got rid of it. Canadian football got rid of it. And its uh, roots come from uh, the old football codes played in England. Rugby has gotten rid of it. Uh, The only sport where it's prominent is Australian football, where it's kind of a central part of the game. But... In American football, when you signal a fair catch, the captain of your team has two options to start play normally with first down or a kick at goal with a free kick. Why does it feel weird? Because it's not used anymore. Um, It is a field goal attempt. It's a different style. It's performed differently, but it's still a field goal attempt. All the rules for a field goal applies. If you're kicking a field goal, you're giving up possession, regardless of if you make three points or not. If you are kicking it, you're giving it to the other team. So usually you want to go for a touchdown, right? So it's very typical that you only see these happen at the end of a half either the first or second half. If you have five seconds left, why not give yourself a chance to kick in a field goal? This isn't the case at the high school level, but in the NFL, a fair catch free kick can extend the uh, the quarter. If you fair catch a ball as time is running out, so you've got zero seconds on the clock, you can't take a snap. You can't do a first down. But you can extend that time by taking the fair catch free kick. Because this typically gets used near the end of a half, there's a, 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 there's a false belief that this can only happen at the end of a half. But that's not true. It can be in the middle of the first quarter and the team 
punting the ball screwed up horribly, or there's a bunch of penalties that move where the fair catches happen. And you're more than welcome to call for the fair catch free kick and kick a field goal. It's just most people want to go for the seven, not the three. John Madden had publicly said on a few occasions that the fair catch free kick is the one thing he always wanted to do as a coach, but never had the opportunity to do so. It would be interesting to see if the players even know that rule. You know, when I was a coach, I was a coach, head coach for 10 years. I always knew that rule, always wanted to use it, and never got the opportunity. I saw it done once. I did too. Paul Brown did it. Ironically, the video game that carries his name, Madden Football, does not have the fair catch free kick in it. This is just one of those weird things that exist in the rules of football. And uh, funny enough, I have here a copy of the NFL rule book from 1947. And this was news to me when I opened this up. I was not aware this was a thing. So for the 1947 NFL rule book, field goal is scored when all of the following conditions are met. A, kick must be a place kick or drop kick made by A, that's team A, either from scrimmage or a free kick after fair catch or safety. I just got this book a couple of days ago. I was not aware that the free kick from safety could score three points. And this leads me to something even more interesting that I was not aware of. But at the high school level, there's at least one reference I have found of someone scoring a field goal on a kickoff. Now, I haven't dug deep into this. Um, my only assumption is that this was before all the states kind of unified their um, football rules under one umbrella. And this state just allowed any free kick to score a field goal. So at some point, sometime in history, you could have been a high school kicker who had scored a field goal, not only from this rare fair catch free kick, but also from a safety, which would have been at the time 80 yards, which would have been impressive, or from a kickoff which if I'm not mistaken, would have been from the 40 yard line at the time, a easier, but still impressive 60 yards. So just yesterday I was reading about the safety free kick scoring field goals. And I was curious about when that ended. And just by chance i happen to get my new book i uh just bought online <clears throat> it's the rule book for the 1954 season and in here rule changes for the 1954 season they changed rule 9 section 5 article 1a possibility of field goal after safety eliminated so at some point between the 53 and 54 season, something changed and they decided to get rid of the ability to score a field goal from a safety free kick. Now, that would have been interesting if you think about it. It's No one's ever done one that I've been able to find. That would be an 80-yard kick. That would offset the safety you just allowed. You gave the defense two points and then you boot an 80-yard kick and you get three points. So you're up one. Well, this was just by happenstance. I, I picked this up off of eBay because it has the Lions on it. Go Lions. Uh, this was right after their 1953 championship, and they only won one more, 1957, and then it's been a drought ever since. But this was it, and I looked, and the definition for a field goal changed so that it mentioned the free kick after a fair catch, but not the safety kick.